Republican Congressman David Jolly wants to stop flights coming from West Africa. The Obama administration is stepping up screening for Ebola at five U.S. airports. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson reports why Jolly wants more to be done and why one college professor believes stopping the flights would be a bad idea. Several of these passengers are coming in from Atlanta, which is one of the airports being considered for advanced Ebola screening. Passengers on flights to Atlanta, JFK in New York, O'Hare in Chicago, Dulles in D.C., and Newark in New Jersey will have their temperatures checked if they're flying from Ebola-affected countries in West Africa. Congressman David Jolly wants more to be done. My first concern is that we act now to be in front of the current crisis so that six months from now we're not asking what we could have done differently. Jolly wants flights into the U.S. from Ebola-affected countries to be stopped and would only allow aid workers to travel there. Until the administration can absolutely confirm that we have protocols in place to prevent additional influx of Ebola into the homeland, yes, I believe we should do that. College professor Amy Mosco traveled to West Africa in July and plans to go back. It's easy to lump all uh, Africans together or even all West Africans and the disease is really in only three countries. Moscow travels to Ghana and has been given a Fulbright Scholar Grant to teach there. If Ebola stays out of Ghana, we have no reason not to go. Moscow believes it would be a bad idea to stop all flights from Africa, even from Ebola-affected countries. There could be really some big detrimental effects if we do that in terms of political stability in those nations. and. If they're cut off from the rest of the world, um, it could lead to instability, which isn't, which isn't good for our world. So far, the chairperson of the CDC is against stopping flights from West Africa, but that could change. Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.